What's up everyone, Shrooptube, and welcome to the second episode in my Coaster series, and Coaster series is basically a series where I do coaster speculations, ride predictions, park rumors, and all that s stuff, and you should probably know that already, because I've already stated it before in my last coaster video, which was the Fear 325 one, so we are just going to dig right into it, so next Tuesday when I do my coaster series, I'm just gonna dig right into it, I'm not gonna say what I just said about the uh, coaster series, but today, as you can see, it is going to be King's Dominion versus King's Island by the title. As you can see by the title. And it is actually my first park battle. So this is going to be a park battle. And King's Dominion and King's Island, you know, they're very different from each other. So one difference is that King's Dominion is in Doswell, Virginia. And King's Island is in Mason, Ohio. And they both have their own major cities, Doswell, Virginia, you know, it's like Richmond, Virginia, and Mason, Ohio, Cincinnati, Ohio. And it's like on the border of Kentucky and Indiana, but we're just going to jump right into it. So basically, these two parks have similarities too. They're both Cedar Fair parks, as you can probably tell, because, you know, if you've been to the two parks, they are very similar. So... We're going to be stating my opinions. Remember, this is all opinion-wise, so it's not like one park's better than the other just because of my opinion. This is just opinion. Obviously, both parks are amazing in their own awesome way, so we're just going to dig right into it. So keep in mind, this is not part of the category that we're doing. In fact, there are six categories, not seven. And this is just logo awesomeness going on here King's Dominion and King's Island and here we go in fact there are six categories alright so it's gonna be three coasters I'll be picking a coaster from both parks adding up to three the park map water park and location adding up to six alright so here we go alright so first we'll be talking about King's Dominion's Intimidator 305 now what this coaster is is it's basically a giga coaster. It goes up 305 feet tall and it drops at a very intense drop. A very cool looking angle going on here. And when it drops, it does like these really cool bank turns on the bottom. It like turns left and right, left and right, left and right, and it just makes you really, really hyped up to ride this coaster if you are a high thriller. And as for Diamondback at Kings Island, it is a pretty cool coaster, too. Only this is a hyper coaster, but even though it's smaller, it's still really, really cool because once it goes up, it doesn't have a lot of small turns on the bottom. But when it goes up the lift, it actually does a really cool bank turn and then it drops back down. It does that multiple times, too. And then at the end of the ride, it does a big splash, kind of like a log ride. You know those log rides at amusement parks? They're really cool. I think an amusement park is in an amusement park without a log ride. Seriously. So, even though two of these coasters are amazing, I'm just going to have to give the credit to King's Dominion's Intimidator 305, and that's because it has a higher thrill rate, I believe, because of this drop. But obviously, you know, if you're still a coaster enthusiast who is still pretty new, but you want to ride intense rides, obviously King's Island's Diamondback is better for you. But as for big thrill seekers out there, I think... King's Dominions and Timidator 305 wins the spot 1 to 0 for KDKI. Now we will be talking about their inversion coasters. So, Volcano at King's Dominion, as you can probably tell, and Banshee at King's Island. So, this ride right here is Volcano, and it has four inversions. It's a launch coaster, pretty cool, and Banshee is a lift hill, like a lift chain, instead of starting in a volcano. It basically does up this really cool thing going on. It basically goes up, and it drops, and it has seven inversions. And that's pretty cool. But as for thrill rate, I'm going to have to give the points to King's Island... King's Island, Banshee, just because it has more inversions, because I believe that more inversions 
mean more thrills, but obviously this is just my opinion again. So now it is one to one. All right, now we'll be talking about their wooden coasters. So it's gonna be Grizzly at King's Dominion and the Beast at King's Island. All right, so Grizzly is basically the same thing as any other wooden coaster, but some say it's a little bit rough, but the Beast is rough too. And as for the Beast, it's really long. It's over a mile long, but if you love, you know, long coasters, I would recommend King's Island's The Beast. But for now, we're going to give the points to Grizzly, just because even though it's rough too, I think that this one will offer more thrills, because a lot of people say that The Beast is even rougher. But, obviously, everybody loves a smooth coaster, but even though I have no idea whichever one is more rough, but I guess the Grizzly is somehow better. So, yeah, now it's 2-1. to one. Now the park map. Yes. Alright, the park maps. King's Dominion, you know, the rides are always in the back for some reason. And, like, the most major rides, excluding Dominator. Now, you kind of have to walk a long way, but we'll get to that later. King's Island. King's Island. King's Island. King's Island. Now, this is the one with Banshee. And, the rides are in the back, too, but the park is smaller. But, it really doesn't matter as far as how far you have to walk to get to the cool rides. But for this instance, we're just going to give the points to both of them. So, 3 to 2. Now, we will be stating water parks. Now, for the water park... Water parks are pretty cool. When you want to chill after riding all those rides, King's Dominion is probably cool, too. And so is King's Island. Now, they recently changed it from Waterworks to Soak City. Now, this is Pipeline Peak. Now, as you can see, it's a pretty extreme-looking water slide. It has four water slides. Now, I guess if you really love water slides and you want the best of them, I would recommend going to King's Dominion's Waterworks, also called Silk City now. And we'll be saying that sometime later. And basically, you know, King's Island is cool too if you like, you know, wave pools. The wave pools are really high, like over three feet. But this is just a picture of... The Pro Slide Tornado at Kings Island, Silk City. But I guess they're both cool. But, you know, as for thrills, I think you would much rather seek water slides because of how cool they are. And just by looking at this, it's cool. So, for my theory, it is going to be, my opinion, it is going to be 4 to 2. So, 1 point for King's Dominion. Yeah. Alright, now, finally, for the sixth one, we will be talking about the last category, which is, you know, the two parks location. Now, King's Dominion is located in Doswell, Virginia, and it's located right off the interstate highway, and, you know, since it's a highway, a lot of people see it, the highway is always busy, so... You will obviously see the amusement park right when you look to your right or left. And it just looks really cool. So, yeah, obviously you'll learn a lot of people. But the same thing goes for Kings Island because there's also an interstate from Cincinnati. And you will also see this park very well too. So, And they're both located in like a forest slash plains area. So I love that type of landscape too. But as for both of them... They are similar, so I'm going to have to give a point for both of them. So it now ends at 5 to 3. So one point for each, 4 to 2, 5 to 3. So now that we got through that, it is basically 5 to 3 for my opinion. So King's Dominion won. But obviously, that is just opinion wise for me. If you have your own opinions, you can state that too. But yeah, 5 to 3. For in this video, King's Dominion wins, but you have your own opinions. So, yeah, see you in the next video. I won't be doing these park battles very often, but if I do, then it's going to be a long, hard video.
video to make because I don't know if you know this, but it took me like 10 times to make this video and this is the 11th time probably. It's just really hard to keep everything organized. I mean, I even have notes and I still mess up. But I hope this video was a success and I hope I made all the tallies right, all the points right. Because, you know, it's just the enjoyment of making videos. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. See you Tuesday.